I just realized I recorded this entire tutorial with my mic muted. Alright guys, so second time recording this, we're going to show you guys how to make a Discord server for whether it's for your gaming, your YouTube channel, or it's just for like a group of you gamers or whatnot. Well, you're going to learn how to make a Discord server today and set it up kind of nice. As you see, this is mine. I have all these different pages laid out, uh, different roles and everything. Still learn how to do all that today in this video. First things first, let's make a new server. Let's forget that one that I was working on. And create server. You'll click that plus button down there. Create server, name it whatever you want. YouTube Tutorial 2. All right. Uh, cool. We don't want to add any friends in here, right? So first things first, disconnect from that voice channel. So first thing I like to do first when you make this new server is come up here and go to server settings, right? We're gonna add some roles. Basically what these roles are is, like you see on my server here, I have all these different colors, like owners, mods, bots, streamers, all this different stuff. Um, you guys will learn how to make that today. So we're gonna click boom, server settings, roles, and we're gonna make a new role. First role you're going to want to make is going to be your owner role, right? So this is going to be for basically you and only you. And on every role that we're going to make here, you want to make sure you always check this box right there, right? And then as the owner, you're going to want to check every single one of these boxes. Since this is your server and you're going to be the only one in this role, you want to make sure that you have access to every single thing on your server. Click the rest of these here. Cool. Save change, make sure you always click save change is cool. We're gonna add some more roles here. I like to I don't like to have I like to have an admin role and then I also like to have a um mod role moderators and then I like to have for my server I have a streamers we have multiple streamers in, in my server so I have a streamer role but um if you don't want to make that also I recommend you having like an active or a loyal a loyal uh, thing just so people you don't want to make a mod but they're like very active in your server you want to at least give them some recognition for being active you can just give them this role and give them a specific color to go along with it so like blue so instead of having that basic white color they'll have at least the uh, blue color um, but we'll, get back, we'll get back to that in a second let's start off with admins here give your admins a color I, I go with green on my server um, allow them to Display separate from all my members. Mention this role. Um, administrator, we don't give them that right. Everything else, basically, manage server. On my server, I have everything checked except these two, so they can't change the name or change or do this one. Because um, that basically that basically gives them every every right to the channel. Um, so we're gonna do all this. We can ban, kick members, manage nicknames, manage emojis, web books, manage messages. I mean, they can remove and delete messages and whatnot. Mute members, def in, move members to other channels. Yep. Cool. So that's your admin role. Basically, they're going to be the ones that are looking after your channel when you're not, your server when you're not able to. So we're going to come back to the moderator's role, right? Mod's role. So let's give them freaking orange, dude. I love orange, right? It's almost red, actually. I don't know. But allow, of course, check that, check that. Don't want to give them that role. They can view the audit log, manage server, no, manage roles, can create new roles. Um, I'm not gonna give that to the mods. So basically the mods what you want is them to be able to kick members that are being like disobedient or whatever or being rude and whatnot. Um, ban members. So again, people who are being rude. These are people you have a decent amount of trust in. Your admins are basically like the ones that you have the most trust in because they're gonna be like, they can do basically everything you can do to the server besides change the name and a couple other things. Um, manage nicknames of other players. So basically, if someone makes like a a really rude nickname or something, they might even the mods can change that name back to what it was. Manage emojis. Actually, we'll keep that off. Um, manage messages. Yes, this is this is where your mods are going to come in really handy too. This is the main role of a moderator is to be able to delete all of those unruly messages, mute members, deaf members, move members. Yeah, so cool. We're going to save changes for those. Active loyal. All you really want to check on this one is these two right here. Because like, like I said before, this this role is just kind of um, letting you reward people for who are active. But not necessarily, you don't necessarily trust them enough or whatnot to give them like a 
a moderator role. You just want them to be kind of recognized as, hey, this person's been in this server for months now. So, you know what I mean? Kind of a cool thing. Add everyone. Just keep all that the same. Cool. So, we're going to escape out of this, right? We saved all our changes. So, now we're going to add some new text channels. So, you have your general, right? We're going to create a new channel. Let me go look at mine. All right, so if you see in my server right here, we have different, I have like a bot command. I'm not gonna go over necessarily how to add bots. If you guys are interested in bots in another server, or not in another server, if you guys are interested in how to add bots, I can make a separate video on that. I don't really wanna go over that right now because it's just a quick tutorial on how to just set up a server and get your get running with roles and whatnot. Um, but we're gonna add some different things like we're gonna add these announcement tabs that I use. So come over here, let's add some new text channels. We're going to add an announcement channel, create channel, we're going to add a roles, or not roles, sorry, a rules channel, we're going to add a admin, admin only, oh, if I could spell, this is going to be a private channel that only admins and the owner have access to, we're going to create another uh, mod chat mods only this is gonna be a private channel again that mods admins and owners have access to uh, we're gonna create a if you're doing YouTube then this is I would recommend making a videos channel and since I'm a live streamer I have a uh -oh, what did I just do uh, there we go I have a live stream channel let's make a live streams all right, cool. So I think that's pretty good for now. So basically, we're going to set up some new categories, right? So to be able to, so all this is under one thing, we're going to click right here. It's going to kind of give you some more organization, create categories. So this would be, for me, I just named it my YouTube channel name because these are basically, these ones I'm about to show you now are ones that only I am allowed to post in. So we have this new channel down here. We're going to drag announcement down here. Admin only, or no, 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 sorry videos live streams so basically this is stuff that i'll just come in and post and say if i'm going live in or i have an announcement to make about some new like hey guys uh you, hey guys we got a new you guys get the point basically this is just something where everyone else can read but only you, only you can post just to make sure that like you can get announcements across. If you have a new video that comes out, you can come in here, copy and paste your new video link there. Live stream, come in here, copy and paste your live stream. Just basically so it doesn't clutter up your general chat because your general chat is where everyone else is going to be chatting. So you don't want to clutter this up with a bunch of links and whatnot that people aren't really going to be interested in at the moment, you know? So we do want to come in here and change these to give permissions. So only so at everyone can not manage permissions no they can read messages they cannot send messages they can't send them they can't manage they can't embed links can't attach files can read message history cannot mention everyone can't use or add reactions yeah that's what i was looking for can add reactions save changes and the owner is the only one we're going to add a role for the owner the owner is the one that can create, uh, can do everything in this chat. Every, uh, and at everyone is going to cover all your roles. So you don't have to like come in and add a role for like, all right, I don't want, this is something that I want my mods to see, but I don't necessarily want them to be able to send messages in here either. Maybe my admins can send messages. If you want your admins to send messages and you want to add a role, add your admin and be sure you come in here and click send messages for admin. But um, this at everyone role is going to control at, ev at like everyone in the server. So you don't have to go through and add mods. All right, the mods can't read or the mods can't send messages. The active members can't send messages and whatnot. You know what I mean? So uh, save changes. Cool. So he did that. So that's going to give that a private link for us now where only we can send messages. No one else can. And basically, you just want to come in here to videos and live stream and do the same exact thing. And make it to where everyone can only read messages, can't send, and all that good stuff, right? I'm not going to go through it again because it's the same exact thing we just did with the announcement tab. Alright, so next order in the court. 
All right, so one more thing I'm going to show you guys real quick that you might be interested in. I, in my server, we use Discord sometimes for when we stream. Um, and so you want to make this little, make like a voice channel, a voice chat to where only you and certain people that you want can join that chat. So basically you want to come in here and you can add a new role for this. Like I added a separate role over here called streamers for mine. You can come in here and make a new role in server settings and add a new role that is right here. Boom. Streamers. You can name it streamers. You can, oh my God, I can't spell. You can name it streamers. You can name it like YouTube chat or whatever the case may be. Give it a color you want, right? And save changes, allow that. And then just, just keep it those two though. Don't give them any extra special permissions unless you really want to. Um, you just want to have it to where you can lock that chat to the streamer role. So you can come in here to add a new voice channel voice channel private channel so only the streamers and the owner have access to it and i mean you can keep it as just streamers as you want and you can make you you can give yourself multiple roles but we'll keep owner check for now we'll click create channel uh, we need to give it a name uh stream wow i can't type stream chat cool and create channel so now you got that lock icon on it meaning only you and your streamers can join the server so I'm going to hop over to my server real quick and show you guys how to give someone, how to move someone to a different role. So you guys may have people that join your server. You're like, cool, I want to give Slash a certain role. So you can come over here to his name. If you're on PC, if you're on mobile, it's a little different. But on PC, oh, well, there goes Slash. All right, we're going to we're gonna go to Crane real quick. Uh, we're going to click on Crane's name and say you want to uh, give him a new role. It's a real quick role. All you got to do is just add the role that you want to give him. So you want to give Crane mod role, give him the mod role. Boom, he moves up here, his name is now Purple, and he will be seen in the chat with a purple name as a moderator. If you guys want to take the role away, just come over here, click the X button. Now he doesn't have a role. That easy. So that was just a quick overview of how to set up a quick little, how to basically just organize your Discord server, right? It's definitely not an in-depth tutorial. Uh, that's not what I was aiming for here. I wanted just a kind of quick, less than 10 minute video. I, I hope it's less than 10 minutes to just a quick little under 10 minute video to show you guys but that's basically it guys i was just aiming for a uh, quick little short tutorial on how to organize your channel not necessarily go through and how to set up bots and how to set up music channels and all that if you guys are interested in bots and everything i can definitely show you guys how to do that like i have a bot in mind called me six bot that greets everyone when they join it at some and then tells them to read all the rules and everything and then come over here, read all the rules and whatnot. So if you guys are interested in that, definitely let me know in the comments below. I can work on that. Um, but other than that, guys, I'm out. It's been real. We'll catch you guys in the live streams, hopefully. Peace out.